in the game just to get my fatty. And these lazy ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love Key Talk. Game. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Hey, man, if you're a newcomer, make sure you hit that like button whenever I first start talking. And shout out and welcome you to Key Talk Gang. And if you're a, a OG Key Talk Gang member, salute to y'all. Uh, we're going to get down to business. Make sure y'all hit the like button for me. Gives us an algorithm. Helps us grow as a team and as a family together. Anyway, so a dire Diabolical picture. Well, really, it was a video, but on the right side of my screen or left side of my screen, you should be able to see the picture, right? This might be the most diabolical picture that actually dropped inside of 2024. Now, the picture, of course, is trash talking Charles Charleston White and none other than YSL Woody. Now, as of late, YSL Woody, since he's been on that stand, but he has been entertaining the whole world like literally we're just entertained it's to the point to where people don't care about nothing that why sell what he done did we just people is just caring about okay what's entertaining what's gonna make us laugh what's funny that's what the internet is right the internet don't really care about nothing that you do or or if people look at you this way the internet just want to be entertained and if you can entertain on the internet then you can win and it's a bag of money waiting on you right so why sell Woody actually posted him and trash talking Charles speaking? You know, talking about well, he didn't play the audio, but it's just them on a FaceTime call, right? We do know that Charleston White <laughs> pisses everybody else on the internet. He's also a comedic comedian, entertainer slash advocate. That has a lot of other stuff, right? But we just look at the comedy side on the internet, right? Uh, and then of course we got Why sell Woody, who has done some you know, some talking inside that interrogation room, has been labeled a rat, uh, but also when he took the stand. Inside of the YSL case, uh, he pretty much was acting stiff on the stand, right? Uh, so, which, you know, kind of threw everything through a turn because he was a star witness. Everybody thought he was about to get up there. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Everybody thought he was about to get up there, and nobody knew exactly what he was going to do. But he got up there, and he entertained us, right? So, uh, am I surprised by this link up of Trash Talk and Charles Charleston White and uh, YSL Woody? I am a little bit surprised. But it does fall in line of, of like, the brand, right? Because Charleston White gets online and he pretends to be, like, this snitch, even though I don't think there's, like, paperwork if him actually snitching or nothing like that. Uh, but who knows, right? But then, of course, you got YSL Woody, who has the video of him snitching. So th their brands kind of, like, fall in line together, which makes this a smart move, decision to do. Uh, YSL Woody, honestly, after the performance that he's been given, but he probably gonna get some. Uh, I don't know if he can maybe get some movie roles or he get some some type of something. Actually, you don't even need all that. He, he can hit his own platform. I think he just started like a uh, a TikTok and it went up immediately, right? Uh, you know, you, you ain't we in a world now where you don't have to depend on other people for what this and that. If you can just build your own platform, be your own boss. Uh, of course, you you got to work your butt off to, in order to receive money. Uh, you got to work your butt off way more than if somebody was just to like hand it to you. Uh, but like I say. I'm talking about uh, Buddy got his own stuff going on, uh, but I'm looking forward to see what him and Trash Talking Charles got to do uh, because Charles and White is completely entertaining. He can say whatever he want on the internet, some of the most disrespectful, vile stuff that you've ever heard in your life, uh, but at the end of the day, it's entertaining, and, and, and that's what the internet is for. Internet is for entertainment, right? Uh, the internet ain't the streets, and the streets ain't the internet, right? Of course, a lot of the streets is on the internet, and the internet does run a lot of stuff in the streets because based what's going on, but the internet is the internet, and it's its own world right so if you don't learn how to operate on the internet then you could just fall behind right uh the internet's on the internet's billion there's trillions of trillions of trillions of dollars on the internet you learn how to work the internet then you can get a piece of the pie right if we don't learn how to work the internet then it's gonna be hard for you to get a piece of the pie and you might end up complaining about the internet even though you're on the internet trying to get some money off the internet but you just don't know how to work or operate the internet so uh yeah Anyways, keep on entertaining. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what they got going on. Let me know some coming down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.